Yo, so today I'm going over some of my favorite gaming desk setup upgrades that actually matter. I guarantee that at least one of these items will help to improve your setup and make it more enjoyable to play at. First up is the Keychron K2HE, and this is a Hall Effect keyboard from Keychron that's essentially their response to the booting. This is still a pre-launch product that I was able to get early, but I wanted to mention it because it's so good. Right after taking it out of the box and starting to type away, I was incredibly impressed at just how good it sounds and feels stock. The metal casing feels pretty high quality for the price, but doesn't make the board all too heavy. I think the build quality is much better than the stock wooding and doesn't give me the feeling of needing to swap out the keycaps or case. These Hall Effect switches have the same adjustable actuation point that allows you to have a much more responsive feel in game while being wireless. In addition, these also give you last keystroke prioritization, which means that your most recent key input is the one that will register, so you can strafe incredibly fast in competitive games. What I like about this keyboard is its sleek design looks great at my workspace and feels nice to program with throughout the day, but it still serves as a fantastic gaming keyboard. This unfortunately doesn't ship until November, but I can definitely recommend picking one up when it drops. Next, pairing your keyboard with a good gaming mouse is essential, and the one I've landed on is the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro. A close runner-up is the Superlight 2, which I'm sure most of you know of, and that's still a mouse that I really like using but what I prefer about the Basilisk is its ergonomic shape. It is a heavier mouse, but to be honest, I don't find that it has much of an effect even while playing competitive games. It wraps around my hand really nicely and stays comfortable for those longer gaming sessions. The grips on the mouse make it easy to hold onto, and the texture on the mouse buttons make its tactile feedback feel even better. The infinite scroll wheel is super convenient if you also use this mouse for work and constantly need to scroll through large files. On the left side, there's two mouse buttons which I find easy to press, and a third sniper button that's great to quickly slow down your DPI or configure it to another quick action. Next are a few gaming accessories from Best Buy who are sponsoring today's video. The Dell XPS 14 is the first and I've been testing out this laptop over the last month. It's impressed me a ton and has been an enjoyable machine to work and even game on. The RTX 4050 inside lets you play practically anything on the go and its 14 and a half inch OLED display looks gorgeous. The keyboard is comfortable to type on and the touch function above looks unique and lets you quickly swap between media and function keys. While working or playing games, I like to use headphones, and the Skullcandy Crusher ANC 2s cancel out everything but what you're listening to. You can also fine-tune the bass to give a unique listening experience. If you stream, the Elgato Steam Deck Plus Studio Controller is a super useful accessory to have that lets you map quick functions to the buttons, configure the four dials, and have four shortcuts across the touch strip. Along with this, having a high-quality microphone fun to record with is super important, and the Blue Yeti Nano is the perfect choice. You can monitor your audio with no latency, swap pickup patterns with the click of a button, and quickly adjust all of your settings in seconds to have great audio for your stream or talking to friends in-game. If you want to check any of these products out, they'll be linked in the description. Thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring this video. Next, an affordable but significant upgrade is picking up a light strip from Govi, which brightens up your desk and for the price is a no-brainer. I have a pure white version simply because I don't like RGBs, and otherwise the white color I set it to would have more of a yellow tint, but either way, it looks fantastic. I bought the cheapest one I could find, but if you use an Alexa, paying a bit extra to use a compatible one is definitely worth it in my opinion. I have one at my main desk setup, and controlling this with my Echo Spot is super convenient. Speaking of, the Echo is not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of a gaming accessory, but the newest version that they just released is something I can't live without. I currently have the old model at my gaming setup, and I love having it as a clean desk alarm clock. Next, I throw a monitor light bar from BenQ on top of my gaming monitor, and I think this is a must-have addition to your setup if you play in a darker environment. It's a very simple upgrade, but brightens up the entire desktop and honestly makes the setup look much better at night. There's controls at the top that let you quickly adjust brightness, color temperature, and a few other settings. Another accessory for your monitor that I highly recommend is a gas spring arm. You do pay a premium going for an option like this over your typical Vivo arm or the like like, but I think it's 100% worth it. The reason is you can make smooth adjustments much easier without ever having to pull out an Allen wrench to loosen
loosen or tighten the arm. You then of course get the same benefits of every monitor arm which is a sick floating design and freed up space on the desk to keep other items. This one here is from Ergear and is the one I personally recommend. This one is designed for monitors up to 35 inches and works perfectly with my 32 inch Alienware. Now if you're constantly running out of storage for games, I highly recommend picking up an external SSD. There are a lot of options out there and you may be inclined to buy something like a SanDisk drive, but what I personally recommend is grabbing an SSD enclosure like this one from Zetech and then throw an M.2 SSD inside. In the long run, this ends up being much more affordable and lets you easily swap out drives of varying storage as needed. I have a 4TB drive in here that I personally use for storing video files, but this is enough space to store a ton of games. Unfortunately, this solution won't work well for console gamers as you can't play games directly on the drive, but it's great if you're on PC and don't want to clutter up your boot drive. Now, once you're done gaming and want to take off your headphones, you really only have two options of where you put them. One, leaving them on top of your desk, or two, finding some random place to hang them. A cheap solution I found is this cup holder mount with a headset hanger underneath, which is really convenient if you want to have a drink while you game and don't want to spill it on your desk. This frees up space that would have been taken up by a mount on top of your desk, and the clamp makes it easy to adjust to your desk size and rotate the headphones if you'd like. So those were some of the gaming setup upgrades I've made recently that I I think are worth checking out. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and if you have any others that you think are worth checking out. If you enjoyed this video, you'll want to watch this one next where I go over every item in my gaming setup and why I went with them. Thanks for watching and take care.